Hi and welcome to our lesson on identifying prime numbers. Here is 6. It can be broken down into 2 times 3. 6 is in the 2 and the 3 times tables. Because it is composed of the numbers 2 and 3, it can be called a composite number. Composite numbers can be broken down into other whole numbers. Not all numbers can do this. 7 can only be made by 1 times 7. We just get the same number, 7 times 1. 7 is called a prime number. Prime numbers can't be broken down into other numbers. We say prime numbers have exactly two factors, 1 and themselves. Factors are the whole numbers that can be multiplied together to make the larger number. For 7, the only option is 1 times 7. These prime numbers are not easy to find. One trick we have is that 2 is the only even prime number. It is 1 times 2. Any other even number is in the 2 times table and can be divided by 2. So apart from 2, any number ending in an even digit is not prime. We look at the last digit on the right of the number, and if it is 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0, the number is not prime. 4 is 2 times 2. 6 is 2 times 3, 8 is 2 times 4, 10 is 2 times 5. Looking at larger numbers, 20 ends in 0. It is 2 times 10, not prime. Even 82 ends in a 2, and so it is in the 2 times table. 82 is 2 times 41, so we only need to check odd numbers. We want to see if other numbers divide into the number or not. To check if a number is prime, divide by prime numbers less than the square root of the number. If we don't know the square root, we just look at the closest. So 31 is close to 36, which has a square root of 6. We only need to check the prime numbers up to 6. We have 2, which does not go into 31, 3, which doesn't go into 31, and 5, which doesn't go into 31. 31 is not in these times tables. It can only be written as 1 times itself. It is prime. 15 is odd, so we will check if it is prime. To check if it's prime, divide it by prime numbers less than the square root of the number. 15 is close to 16. 4 times 4 equals 16, so we will look at prime numbers less than 4. We only need to try 2, which doesn't go into 15, and 3, which does. 15 is 3 times 5, so 15 is not prime, it is composite. A trick is that numbers in the 3 times table have digits which add to a number in the 3 times table. The 1 and 5 in 15 add to make 6 which is in the 3 times table. We will check 27. 27 is very close to 25, so we will look at prime numbers less than 5, because 5 fives are 25. 2 doesn't divide into 27 because it's odd. 3 does divide into 27 because 2 plus 7 equals 9 
which is in the 3 times table. 3 times 9 equals 27, so it is composite. Here is our number grid to 100. 1 is neither prime nor composite. We will mark the prime numbers to 100. We have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89 and 97. We can see that there is no pattern. The prime numbers are randomly scattered on the grid. The other numbers are composite numbers and are not prime. The 25 prime numbers to 100 are shown in rows of 5. We have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, then 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, and 73, 79, 83, 89, 97. 2 is our only even prime number, but we can see patterns in the rest of the digits. These numbers end in 3, these end in 7, these end in 1, and these end in 9. 5 is the only prime that ends in 5. We say that apart from 2 and 5, Prime numbers only end in 1, 3, 7 or 9. On our number grid, we can mark the 6 times table in yellow. We can look at where the prime numbers are compared to the yellow 6 times table. Apart from 2 and 3, the other prime numbers are directly before or after a number in the 6 times table. We have 5 and 7, 11 and 13, 17 and 19, 23, 29 and 31, 37, 41 and 43, 47, 53, 59 and 61, 67, 71 and 73, 79, 83, 89 and 97. So apart from 2 and 3, prime numbers are one more or less than a number in the 6 times table. We can check 35 which is one less than 36 which is in the 6 times table. 35 ends in 5 prime numbers only end in 1, 3, 7 or 9, so it is composite. It is 5 times 7. We can check 19. 19 is one more than 18 in the 6 times table. It ends in a 9, so it might be prime. To check if a number is prime, we divide by prime numbers less than the square root of the number. 19 is close to 25, so we can check 5 and below. 2 doesn't go into 19, 3 doesn't go into 19, and 5 doesn't go into 19. 19 is 1 times 19, so it is prime. 61 is 1 more than 60, which is in the 6 times table. It might be prime because it ends in 1. 61 is close to 64, which is 8 eighths. We look at prime numbers less than 8. 2 doesn't go in, 3 doesn't, 5 doesn't, and neither does 7. 61 can only be written as 1 times 61. It is prime. 
We will now look at some numbers that are not prime that end in 1, 3, 7 or 9 and are next to a number in the 6 times table. 49 is 7 times 7. It is composite, not prime. 77 is 7 times 11, so it is composite. 91 is 7 times 13. It too is composite. Here are some questions for you to try. Identify whether each number is prime, composite or neither. Pause the video and have a go. Question 1. 15 is 3 times 5. It is composite. Question 2. 29 is prime. Question 3. 43 is prime. Question 4. 77 is 7 times 11, so it is composite. Thank you for watching. If you would like further practice, more questions are available on our website.